In this video, we're going to talk about plugins. Uh, we're not going to dive very deep into the actual plugins themselves, but I'm going to help you understand how they impact your project. And if you get a project from somebody else per se, and you have issues opening it because of plugins, I'll show you how to quickly disable that without going into the editor. So let's get started. So let's just dive right in. So I've got a project open. You can have your own project. It doesn't really matter. The thing is, is that what you do want to take into consideration is that Unreal Engine ships with a lot of built-in plugins, which is great. It's awesome. But a lot of those plugins are enabled by default, which may or may not be what you want. So typically, and we do this in a studio environment, during production, we'll probably go through and just able the things we know we're not going to need. So say, for example, we're building a game for a mobile device. We probably don't need um, VR plugins enabled. So it can help save a little bit of uh, performance and weight on your project itself if you disable those. So I'll show you how to do those real quick. So if you go up to edit and you go into plugins, this will show you everything that is enabled in your project. Now something to note, as you probably heard me talk about, there are two types of uh, versions of the engine. One is a marketplace build and the other is a source build. If you are using a marketplace build, which is what this is, so I've installed the engine through the Epic Launcher, um, if I start disabling some of these, this will go across the board for that particular version of the engine. So just be aware that, you know, if you're working on a project that is a marketplace build and you decide to disable some plugins there, open up another project, chances are that those same plugins will be disabled. Now, that doesn't really apply towards a source build since you've got the editor standalone inside of that project. So just be aware that that may happen if you decide to disable plugins on one project, they might show in another if you use a marketplace build. So, okay. Now there are a lot of plugins that are in here and some are on by default, some are not. Now in this situation, I've gone ahead and just installed and enabled a few of them. So I've got this tool bag and uh, importer for Marmoset. I've also gone in uh, in our subsystems, enabled a couple for like Amazon, Facebook, and a couple others. Okay, great. That's cool. So why does that matter? Well, I'll show you here in just a second how that could have an impact on other people working on my project. But for the sake of this argument, I've enabled them. And it's the exact same thing. I can go through and just, you know, look through. Again, if we use the early example, example, maybe I'm working on a PC game and I don't need VR or mobile stuff. So I can go through here, click my mobile and just go, oh, I probably don't need mobile patching. I'll just disable it. Now, something I would do want to make note of is that having them on isn't inherently bad. It's not like it's going to package all of these plugins into your build at the end, but it may. So that's why it's important just before you're going to packaging or when you start up your project, go ahead and just disable what you don't need. Okay, so that's the first part. So now you know where plugins are, how to enable them, how to disable them. What happens if you get a project from somebody and you find out, you go to click it, you go to open the project and it says, bam, error, plugin not installed. What do you do? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. If it's a plugin that's available on the marketplace per se, you can go, you can acquire that. Sometimes a lot of them are free. Just go ahead and add it to your engine and you can open it. Other times though, there are plugins that may not be available to you. If you come to this video, you may have one of those that says enterprise not enabled. What does that mean? Well, there are some things with Unreal Engine in particular with the Datasmith side that kind of are encompassed in this enterprise level thing. So you may not have access to those plugins. So the question is, okay, I don't have those plugins. I don't technically need them. It was enabled by somebody else. How do I open my project? So let me step you through that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just minimize our editor and I'm gonna show you how we do that. So on the left here, I've actually got the files that we have. So you can see here is my .u project. That's what we were just looking at. So if I were to double click this, open it up and I see that error message and my host, no. So if you actually right click on your U project and you open it with say Notepad++, uh, you can open it with WordPad, any text editor, you will get this, which is what's on the right. So if you remember, I said that I had enabled the Marmoset tool bag, Amazon, Facebook, and actually enabled Leap Motion too. Those plugins were enabled and that's what we see right here. So what it will tell me is tell me the name of the plugin, if it's enabled, and sometimes I'll have a marketplace URL. Most of the time it doesn't though. So I can see here, let's say for example, that the Amazon online subsystem, what was causing my error for me to open my project. I could just simply go down to this enabled equals true, highlight it, type false, save the .u project, open it, and that will actually be disabled in my project. That's it, that's all you need to do. So 
If you face issues where you can't open a project because somebody else had a plugin that you did not, you can acquire that or you can just go ahead and disable it again by right clicking the U project, open with notepad, anything that's a text editor and disabling it there. So that's it. So that kind of covers plugins in a nutshell. Uh, again, hopefully that'll help you out a little bit and make your projects lighter and help you debug when you need that. So that'll wrap this video up. So I'll catch you on the next one.